Hi, my name is Brian Mosley, Partner Program Manager with Databox. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your agency-free account in less than four minutes. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is create your account at databox.com forward slash sign up. You're going to be prompted for whether you want a company account or an agency account or an agency account, which is going to give you access to a free Databox account, which will give you the capabilities to add up to 10 clients and then manage those clients with three boards and three sources per client. So let's get started. We're going to pretend that the first template and board that we want to connect is a HubSpot one. Now, if we're not a HubSpot agency, there's a great blog post on the five boards that you can set up in five minutes to talk you through a Google Analytics board, social media board, MailChimp board, Google AdWords board, and a Facebook ads board. And if you are a HubSpot partner, there's a blog post for you that gives you the six boards that you need to get set up. So we're going to pretend that the first board we want is a HubSpot board. We can sort the template library two ways by category, sales boards, finance, social media, or by data source, HubSpot marketing, Google Analytics, LinkedIn, AdWords. We're going to go with HubSpot marketing and we're going to choose the first board that comes up. Now it's going to ask us to connect our HubSpot. This is going to use O authentication and it's going to allow us to select which one of our HubSpot accounts or our clients HubSpot accounts that we want to connect. I'd recommend connect connecting your own agency account first and foremost. So now that we've selected our template and we've connected our source, we now have the data board that we just made. From here, I'd recommend grabbing the other templates from the blog post that fits your needs, whether you're an agency or, an, or a HubSpot agency. Next, you can add a client at the top and enter the client's name, client tech. Add a fake client name, and then you can add the client email. This doesn't actually need to be a real email address because it's not going to send the client anything. And we select the client plan of free. Once we've done that, we can go back to our boards and we can add a tag to define whether we want this to be part of a basic reporting sequence or maybe we want it part of some more advanced reporting sequences. And then we can send this board to the client tech we just created. Once you send a board to a client, you can go into that client account. You can either accept or reject that board. If you choose accept, it will ask you to connect the client's HubSpot or Google Analytics or Google AdWords account, which of course we can do later. Now, once you have the client board connected, there are two ways that you can share that board with a client. I can hover over the board and click the share data board button. First way is through a live access private streaming link that you can copy and share right here. The second way is through a scheduled snapshot where you can choose who you want to receive the board and what frequency you want them to receive it daily, weekly, monthly. There are a lot of other features to Databox, like being able to write notes, upload images, and annotate line and bar graphs. You can also choose a multitude of visualization types, and you can bring in multiple sources into one board. If you're looking for better ways to streamline your reporting process or looking for tips and best practices of getting set up, you can book 
time with me using my meetings link in the signature of my emails, or you can ask me on Twitter at bmos14. Hope this was helpful.